Evolving Skies is back. How's it going, guys? We have finally got an Elite Trainer box for Sword and Shield Evolving Skies. I still need to get the other version of this Elite Trainer box. As you can see, I actually have two of these. Uh, this version featuring Jolteon, Flareon, Leafeon, and Umbreon. Give you guys a look at the back. You can pause and read that if you would like. Of course, we'll go over everything momentarily, but Evolving Skies uh, has been a very popular set. And finally, Pokemon has been slowly dwindling out more. Booster boxes, Elite Trainer boxes, and just packs in general. So hopefully they continue doing this for quite a while, because I think Evolving Skies might be, not including the special sets like Celebrations, Evolving Skies might be one of the most popular Sword and Shield sets. As I set all of this stuff off to the side, Ooh, they even have the insert cardboard all stylish. That's pretty cool. Goes with the colors of the Evolutions game rules. See that in every single Elite Trainer box and stuff, but we got our four dividers. We have energy. We got sleeves, and these uh, look to be already opened, but not a big deal. It should be all in there and able to close it up still, but there you go. Always some pretty high quality sleeves, I do have to say, as I take the rest of this stuff out. Here is a code card. I will be saving that code card, but all of the other codes from PAX will be giving away. And then, of course, we have our die and damage related stuff. And should be eight Evolving Skies packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can tell, they are very loose. So who knows what that means? Just means a different print run from the non-loose packs. So Evolving Skies, let's just get right into it with Umbreon. Very squeaky packs, I will say that. So if you're hearing them on, hearing them on the camera, uh, that would be why. Super squeaky. There is our first code card. One, two, three, and four. We have our energy to start us off with. Braviary, Switching Cups, Tentacruel, Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, Wubat, Reverse Hollow, nope, not yet, Temple. There's a Reverse Hollow, a big rare, nice Thweevil, and a non-hollow Gorgeist. All right, first pack down. On to pack number two. Still plenty of cards I need, and I'm sure most everyone does for Evolving Skies. It is just such a large set. And as I do four from the back, the rare card definitely looks a little different and a little bit of a some marking on the back there. And we'll see, it's definitely an ultra rare. Let's see. If it's damaged or not, we got our energy. Full face guard, Hypno, Vigoroth, Fletchling, Tentacruel, Pikachu, C Dot, Lillipup, Swoobat is an uncommon reverse hollow, and an Espeon V. Alright. Doesn't look too badly damaged. The uh, edges definitely see see some wear or not, but just a regular Espeon V. Not a crazy valuable card, which is good in this case. But I still need it for the binder, so definitely good card to pull. As we go on to pack number three. We'll see if we can get an alternate art card somewhere in here. That would be a very good pull out of only eight packs. We got a Energy, Boulder, Aroma Lady, Rescue Carrier, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutifly, Pikachu, Applin, Palpitoad, Reverse Hollow, with a Drampa, non-hollow rare. And I will say, it's been a while since I've actually opened up any Evolving Skies product. I've been focused on celebrations, and oddly enough, I've been able to... This pack won't open for me. I've been able to get a lot more celebrations than Evolving Skies product. These loose packs are always so weird, I do have to admit. One, two, three, and four. 
fighting type energy. Lombre. Scroll of the Flying Dragon. I might need that card. This, These uh, scroll cards, I know they were in battle styles, are definitely not the most common cards, even though they are only uncommon. Fletchender. Bagon. Litleo. Lotad. Ted Yursa. Cryogonal. Ooh, a nice Avalug. Only an uncommon. And a Wishy Washy. Which is just a non hollow rare. All right. Let's see if we can get one more good pull. Hopefully, something a little more rare than just an Espeon V. Maybe we can get. I'm not sure. Is there Espeon V Max in this set? I don't think every. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of edge wear. Not showing up too well. There's. Not every evolution has a V Max version, I believe, in this set. We got Psyche type energy. Tentacool. Palpitoad, Chin Chow. Wait till the new set in November. We will be seeing some more evolutions. Speaking of Eevee, we got a Reverse Hollow and another Drampa. Look at that. All right. So two Drampas so far. Not not the best start. Still still have the chance of getting something good. There is our code card. And I'm going to say water type. Uh, I almost said fire type, but went with water. We got ribbon badge, as well as Xeonah's uh, resolve. If I'm saying that right. Tentacruel, or cool. Dino, Mareep, Wobbuffet. Ooh, a nice Pyroar. It's a very cool artwork. And our rare is an Espeon V also, but this is the alternate art version very, very off-center, unfortunately, but that is a very gorgeous card. Not as valuable as the Umbreon, I believe, but regardless. Centering is actually better on the back, but... Man, Evolving Skies has honestly been pretty good to me, even though I've only opened up a handful of booster packs. We got Espeon V. I'm going to carefully set that off to the side, and I will... Take a look at it better off through the video. But two packs left. We have not pulled a regular hollow card, but we have pulled two Espeon Vs. So I will consider this a win for this uh, this box. Uh, definitely picked the right one. Who knows? Maybe both boxes have tons of good pulls. But for now, I'll keep that one sealed. We got a shopping center, Herdier. There's the Pie Roar and the regular version. Hopip, Hitmonchan. Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, uh, Trainer Card, Sun or Moon and Sun Badge. I want to say Sun and Moon after the game. And our rare is a Hollow uh, Regidrago. Definitely am not sure how to pronounce all of these different new Pokemon. Not like the original 151 or even all the way to Hoenn and uh, Sinnoh. I'm fairly familiar with. Alrighty. Last pack here. Let's see if we can get something. We got our energy. Copycat. SQ. Another scroll. Love Disc. Dwebble. Hippopotas. Zora. Psyduck. Lucky Ice Pop. And a Sharpedo non-hollow regular rare. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Very, very happy we were able to get this Espeon V alternate art. Not sure the price of it, but you should see the price on screen when I pulled it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see ya.